Hello, and welcome back to another 2024 presidential election prediction. Today I have uh, Fox News commentator Tucker Carlson and fellow Fox News commentator Sean Hannity versus independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Congresswoman AOC Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York. Now, I think Hannity and Carlson probably know each other well, which is why I have this pairing, similar ideologically, similar to Bernie and AOC. Similar ideas, but AOC, you know, is a woman of color, which provides that aspect to the ticket. Also provides youth that Bernie Sanders simply does not have. So Bernie Sanders... I think will perform strongly in the usual democratic areas. Usual safe areas, that is. And Tucker and Hannity will do well in the Mormon Belt, the Deep South, so on and so forth. I think they will win Texas. I do. By a likely margin. They are not Trump. They are not pretending to be Trump. Well, I guess they could pretend to be Trump, but I think they'll do better with suburban voters simply because they are not Trump. But... Well, actually, they'll win South Carolina too. Bernie and AOC will win Vermont by a lean margin. And New Hampshire, you know, it helps by a likely margin because Bernie's from the neighboring state. Main District 1, Main District 2, I think, will be tilt to the Democratic, I mean, uh, Republican Party. I think all of Nebraska will go to uh, Hannity. I mean, uh, Carlson, Hannity, uh, District 2 by a lean margin. And I'm going to make a bold prediction. But everything else, by varying margins, goes to Sean Hannity... I mean, uh, Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity. And the reason for this is because Bernie and AOC are far too progressive, far too left for many centrist, for many centrist Democrats to support them, especially in the Rust Belt, even in Minnesota. Definitely in the Sun Belt suburbs, more moderate swing voters. This is a solid victory for Carlson and Hannity. No, an impressive GOP victory that hasn't happened in over 30 years. The last time something like this has happened was 1988. Tucker Carlson becomes president and Sean Hannity becomes vice president, becoming the first, I believe, the first president-vice president duo to have no combined experience in public office. Nor do I think either of these have... These men have served in the military. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. Well, that was a short video, but peace.